McDonald's sources its potatoes from dedicated farms in Idaho, Washington, and Oregon. These potatoes are carefully selected for their size, shape, and texture to ensure consistency in the final product. Once the potatoes are harvested, they're washed and peeled in a massive peeling machine. Potatoes are typically washed with water to remove any dirt or debris that may be on their surface. After washing, the potatoes can be peeled using a knife, a vegetable peeler, or a specialized potato peeler machine. The peeled potatoes can then be cut into desired shapes and sizes for cooking or processing. A commercial potato peeler like the kind McDonald's uses typically uses a combination of abrasive brushes and water to remove the skin from potatoes. The potatoes are placed in the machine and rotated against the brushes, which scrub the skin off the potatoes. The water helps to soften the skin and wash away the peels as they are removed. Some machines may also use high-pressure water jets to assist in the peeling process. After the potatoes are peeled, they are rinsed with water to remove any remaining bits of peel and dried before being moved on to the next stage of the processing. The peeled potatoes are then cut into fries using a specialized cutting machine. The blades are specially designed to cut the potatoes into the iconic McDonald's thickness and shape. After the potatoes are cut into fries, they are rinsed with cold water to remove any excess starch. This step is important because starch can cause the fries to stick together and become mushy when they're cooked. Rinsing the fries in cold water helps to wash away the excess starch and allows the fries to cook evenly and turn a golden brown color when fried. After rinsing, the fries are soaked in a solution of dextrose and sodium acid pyrophosphate. Dextrose is a type of sugar that helps to maintain the fries natural color and flavor. Sodium acid pyrophosphate, also known as SAPP, is a food additive that prevents fries from turning gray or brown when they are cooked. Soaking the fries in this solution helps to keep them fresh and flavorful, and it also helps to maintain their attractive appearance. When the fries are finished soaking, they are typically blanched or partially cooked in hot oil. This step helps to remove excess moisture from the fries, which can cause them to become soggy and greasy when they are fried. The blanching process also helps to firm up the fries and give them a crispy texture. Once the fries are blanched, they can be cooled and stored until they are ready to be fried and served. Fries are packaged for shipping to McDonald's restaurants in large bags or boxes. The fries are stored in a frozen state and packed with dry ice or other refrigerants to keep them frozen during shipping. The bags or boxes are then sealed to prevent the fries from thawing or becoming contaminated during transport. Once the fries reach the restaurants, they are stored in commercial freezers until they are ready to be cooked and served.